And welcome back, everyone, to the last What If of the week of What If. And let me put it this way. That poll wasn't even close, folks. Uh, look, people have been asking for this one, honestly, since I started doing the series. Or sorry, since I started doing the channel. But then so many people started giving me suggestions that I just never got around to it till now. And so, what if... Naruto befriended Kurama very early on. Now, this comes to us from, and there's a lot, folks, so hold on to your butts. Minecraft lover, Nick Miracle. Ed, uh, I believe it's Eduardo Cantor, or Cantier. Uh, McDonald's Raleigh? Raleigh? Forgive me if I'm butching any of these. It's just X Ninja, Ryan Walker, Myron Omega, Austin Menning, 10 uh, Sheldon 101. Uh, sorry, uh, 10 Sheldon, 1010, 10, I should say. Uh, Donna McLean, Thapito Cyril, Jonathan, uh, I can't even, Jonathan L. Uh, Hyperboy, Expert V21, Marcus Kang, Colby uh, Huston, Admiral Squid, Kenneth Wilson, Expert VR1. So, <laughs> that's about roughly 20 people. Thanks. <laughs> I don't think the other two have anywhere near on the list, uh, anywhere near the amount of people uh, that gave uh, that uh, that were giving me that suggestion. Guy definitely has a couple. Uh, that'd probably be the second most suggestions, but uh, I think the capping and kick again kind of only has like four or five, which is still more than I would think. Okay, so realistically, in my head, when Naruto meets Kurama would probably be when the whole Haku thing happens in the Land of Waves, which we just got to in the series we're watching with me and my girlfriend. But I know what people want with this series, so I'm not going to go that. I, they want, what if Naruto as a kid befriended Kurama early? That's, that's, what, they, that's what you want. So let's, let, me get, let me get that out of the way before I explain what the bit of disappointment you're going to have. Not 100% disappointment, but a bit of disappointment we have. So how would this happen? Naruto, now, Naruto's backstory isn't 100% revealed in the sense that what his life was like. In a lot of fan fictions, you get the idea that Naruto was actually attacked, beaten, whatever. But in actuality, as far as we know, that's not really what happened. There might be some implications there. Like, he might have gotten ass whooped here or there, but not nothing like people were hunting him down or anything like that. However, I'm sure at some uh, in some circumstances when he was a kid... On his own, he maybe crossed the wrong person and probably did get like a beating or something like that, or nearly get killed, and the Ambu had to step in. So during one of those incidents, at a very young age, let's say three, I think that's a good range, a good time, because that would be young enough that he probably wouldn't be as um, defiant towards us, like, who the hell do you think you are? For? No, that's not what I'm going for here. Uh, he gets attacked, and maybe in a, a, a sudden burst of chakra, uh, emotional emotion to defend himself. A little eking of the fox chakra came out and kind of like injured the crowd. Didn't kill him, but injured them. The Yambu go, get into a hospital. The third is there. He reprimands those people, whatever. But then we get into Naruto's mind. Naruto's just there. He's like, oh, where am I? He's like, you come to collect the brat. And just comes in the claw, nearly gets in the little Naruto. Ah! He's like, I almost had you. He's like, well, what are you? I'm the... You, don't you know, Brat? I'm the Nine Tail Fox. I'm not gonna do that voice the entire time, because <clears throat> that's that's gonna wreak havoc up my throat if I do that. But don't you know, Brat? That's a lot easier. I'm the Nine Tail Fox. It's like, ah, uh, <laughs> now now you know, Brat. Now you know why they hate you. Now they know why they try to kill you. Mm. What will you do? Mm. What, will, what will you do now? He's like the fox is trying to goad him. But Naruto's like looking at us like, huh? It's nice to meet you. <laughs> it's like, what? <laughs> what? 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 He means like, oh, I mean, uh, so that's why. I mean, I never. So that's why. And you, um, it's a week. Why are you inside of me though? It's like because this I attacked the village. Uh, all that. It's like why did you attack the village? It's like why? And the fox is not thinking. He's like, I, I was forced to attack it by by a man with a mask. Uh, I would have nothing. To, I'd rather have nothing to do with you. Pathetic humans. It's like, and then Narja sits being a kid, like a lot of kids are. It's like, I'm sorry that happened. It's good. What? Is it? I'm sorry. I mean, I didn't ask for you to be sealed to me, and you didn't want to attack the village. Just really sucks. I'm sorry. You're, I'm sorry that happened to you. And Archer's looking up at him, like, complete innocent. The fire's like, you, you pity me? It's like, no, I'm just 
sorry that happened to you. It's all you shouldn't happen. That must suck. You probably want to, you maybe you got family or something out there you want to see. I wish I had family. And the box is now just completely flabbergasted. Just, I, no, I mean, no, I don't have any family. Not really any family. I have siblings, but they're, they're far away and, and separate. Oh, I mean, I bet it would be nice to see him again. <laughs> and the fox actually laughs like, <laughs> they, they wouldn't, they wouldn't want to see me. Uh, I'm the strongest of the two. No, that was I'm the strongest. I uh, and I hold my power over them without any um, concern. And say, like, well, I mean, yeah, but I bet you still miss seeing them on some level. And he thinks back, not just to them, but a little bit to six. And the fox's eyes get a little, little like melancholy. Why, why aren't you afraid of me, Brad? I mean, I mean, I kind of am, but you're big, you're big and scary and powerful, but. I mean, you don't really seem like that bad of a guy. I am the demon! <laughs> like, he just rages out. He's just angry, but it's like, <laughs> no, no, it's like, <laughs> um, maybe one day, maybe one day I'll figure out a way to get you out of here so you can go see those people. What? <laughs> what? You, what? It's like, <laughs> and that way we can both, that way we can both find a way to be happy. <laughs> and Arthur just gives a dumb smile. It's like, I guess I'm waking, I'm, uh, I gotta, I guess I'm going now. It's like, what? It's like, What's happening? It's like, you're waking up, Brad. Just you, you go. And the bar's like, what the hell is this kid? What, what did that just happen there? And so, bit by bit, year after year, leading up to a little, like maybe a year prior to entering the Academy, the Fox and Naruto now kind of have an open line of communication. And Naruto, when he, Naruto stops and tries to think and, you know, meditates occasionally when he's able to, he winds up back in there and just starts talking with the Fox. And the Fox... At first, he's very apprehensive about this, obviously. He's the nine-tailed fox, and he's the the yin half, I believe, um, of the fox. So he's the more cantankerous, evil version. Uh, but he's... Uh, as Naruto did in the original, he just starts to break him down. Like, he's he really is being genuine here. Like, he, he's not a kid. And then Naruto does the epic, you know, saint protecting someone. He does it. As a kid, and the fox is like, why are you protecting this girl, kid? I mean, you don't even know her. She still shouldn't be picked on at all. Just because, maybe just because she's different. And besides, I, besides she's kind of pretty. It's like, what? It's like, oh, do you have a, you got a crush? I was like, no, she's just, it's like, she shouldn't be bullied at all. People shouldn't have to pick on other people just to make themselves feel better. And Naruto gets his ass kicked. Oh, but I think almost gets his ass kicked before he, the fox is able to, he just get, eat that little bit out of chakra at him. And just, just, yeah, boom, just kind of, Decks the kid, just, yeah, and, you know, does the eyes and kind of scares them off, and the eyes disappear. Just Ugh. then he nods, is like, "Are you okay?" And he's like, "Yeah, I'm fine." Yeah, I'm Naruto. And he's like, "I'm Hinata." And then obviously, I think his name's Ko shows up. Like, you know, you shouldn't associate with that boy, but he helped me. It's like, huh? What? Well, still, you shouldn't. It helped you out, <laughs> and he protected me from those bullies. <laughs> and Naruto even says, "Where were you?" <laughs> Which. Frankly, it's a very good question. <laughs> when you think about this, Ko probably, like, he not have probably wandered off, but, um, or Ko was busy focusing on something. But, see, so that's your job to look after her. It's kind of a good question, Ko. Where were you? Where this kid got, had to stand up for this girl and you got his ass kicked doing your job for you. <laughs> um, to which, I, and to which he just quickly just said, thank you for helping Lady Tsunade. A Sonata Slayer. Lady Hinata. We have to go, though. Uh, and say, all right, bye, Hinata. I'll see you around. And Hinata's still shy, but it's like, mm. And so, ultimately, uh, again, he just winds up in his head again. And Naruto and the fox are just kind of talking. It's like, what? You got you got kind of roughed up there, kid. If I didn't step in and give you the little chocolate I could, you would have really, you really would have gotten messed up. A lot more messed up than you did. It's like, yeah, well, you didn't have to help me. Yeah. It's not that big a deal. And say, oh, 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 well, are you saying we're friends? And we're mm, fine. It's like, no, it's like, well, I guess what that means we're like business partners or something like that. It's like, oh, just shut up, kid. Fine, we're friends, okay? It's kind of, again, it's that reluctance you see on his face. Like, oh, fine, we're friends. All right, Fox. Karama. What? My name is Karama. <laughs> Again, I don't see the fox just suddenly being like, oh, look at Naruto, I'm going to protect him forever. No, it's a, it's still going to be a gradual wearing down the fox's, like, just ego and, you know, desire to, like, you know, break free. And Naruto and him are getting, you know, do a little fist bump yeah, through the through the bars, 
the best the fox can because he can't get through that initial scenario. But he, so he fist bumps the claw. The fox, the, you're you're an idiot, you know, right? <laughs> and so, but uh, but if you're gonna be my container, I might as well help get help you get stronger. And so this is where a lot of people are gonna get a little upset with me, but I ha I, I don't have to. I mean, I do these based on the logic of the world. I just, I've had recently some, uh, particularly one of you saying, like, you should do uh, uh, what is with zero logic. I'm like, no, because that's a fan fiction. And I told you guys, I don't do fan fictions. Whether you want me to or not, I'm not going to do that. I still am trying to follow the rules of the world to the best of my ability. And here's the honest truth. Naruto wouldn't have version two, uh, cloak, uh, sorry. Naruto wouldn't have BG mode. He would not have the Kurama chakra mode. He wouldn't have any of that right now. The reason for that is very simple. Naruto can't remove the seal right now. Now you might be saying, well, what about in like the fourth great Shinobi War? Naruto had the key. That's why he was able to remove the seal. And then you might say, well, okay, we'll factor back before he had the key. What about in his fight with pain when he was about to just let all the Fox's chakra out? That was because the seal was weakening to the point where the Fox could come out. Uh, and Naruto's will just wasn't being, and Naruto was just kind of giving into it. If it wasn't for Minato showing up, he would have let all of the Kurama out there. Because, quite frankly, there wasn't much of the seal left. The seal was was um, was slowly being undone. Now, the seal is supposed to allow the Fox's Chakra to mix in with Naruto's as well. That's what it's supposed to do. And it does do that. But the problem is, the seal, as they say, was starting to become, was starting to slowly be undone. Hell, that first uh, time he did it against Haku was the first time, um, uh, the first time there was a crack in the seal at all. So... Yeah, I don't see Naruto being able to have those right now. Now, that's not to say I'm not gonna I'm gonna wait till shipping it. No, don't worry. Spoilers. Naruto will have full access to his abilities way before then. But it's not gonna be he's not gonna start out with that. But what I can see happening is because the Fox and Naruto are actually cooperative here, and actually now on good terms, basically like they were in the fourth great Shinobi War. I can see Naruto honestly having access, not to version 2. I think version 2 is probably, the seal isn't weakened enough for that right now. And Naruto maybe takes like the initial like piece, uh, tag off, but uh, like to loosen whatever bits of the seal he can loosen off, but he can't like undo the old seal. Like the seal is pretty tightly wound right now. And so what I think you can get at full power is Naruto accessing version 1. Now, the version one cloak is a little hard to deduce how far you could go with it when it comes into nine tails. Cause after Naruto went past three tails, went into four and beyond, he's in a version two cloak. However, individuals like killer B we see using a multi tailed one version tail or version one tail cloak. So my guess is if Naruto were cooperative uh, with the Fox, like, uh, like he is later in the series or like B is with Yuki, then yes, he should logically be able to access a multi-tailed, beyond three-tailed version one cloak. Would he have the full nine tails? Uh, I'm going to say no, probably doesn't. Like once you get, like once you access the ninth tail, you're, you're accessing the full nine tails. That's it. Um, in case in point, um, Shukaku doesn't actually have a chakra cloak. It's got that mini sand shikaku form, but it doesn't have a chakra cloak because there's only one tail worth of chakra to it. Still, it's an odd chakra. It's just one tail. I think it's, I imagine it's the same here, although I don't recall how many tails B's cloak ultimately had. So if you, luckily we're only in part one, so I can retcon stuff if I need to. Uh, so let me know in the comments below if I'm right or wrong on that. Either way, I think Naruto can max out his one tail cloak to however far he needs to go. Speaking of which, he and the Fox will be training uh, nonstop when they can with this. And the Fox, while probably not knowing a lot of actual jutsu, because he doesn't care that much about it, like he might be able to remember jutsu from the people he's been sealed in, aka Mito, Uzumaki, Kushina. But the thing is, we don't actually know a lot of the stuff that they knew. We know that she taught Minato a lot about sealing Kushina. We know nothing about Minato Uzumaki's abilities. Uh, apart from the fact she most likely had adamantine chain just like Uzuma uh, just like Kushina did, and Naruto can't access the adamantine chain as he's not a pure Uzumaki. So, uh, so my guess is right now Kurama would just be focusing on things like chakra exercises, to because Naruto just has so freaking much of it. 
uh, not even including now the new excess uh, stuff he's got with Karama's Chakra. And so Naruto would quickly get the tree walking exercise down. He'd also get the water walking exercise down. I don't know if there's much beyond that for chakra control. I'm sure there are more advanced chakra control exercises, like maybe balancing a kuna on a kunai or something. <laughs> you know, bouncing on spikes with your chakra, like in uh, you, you, you Hakusho. Show. Of course, that was with your spirit energy, but whatever. Uh, regardless, beyond that, Naruto would also... Because Naruto would have a good amount of time before he enters the academy. He would also be uh, learning to use the Kramas Chakra like he did in the Valley of the End. For example, do the extra long uh, arm reach, the giant chakra arms, which I believe he still did one of those against Sasuke in their first fight. And I know for a fact he did one uh, in the second fight, but he had the full access to Kurama at that point. Uh, you know, using his tails uh, as like other limbs. Uh, I'm sure he's practicing with those. I'm, I don't know if Kurama would be able to like teach him elemental jutsu though. Again, what Kurama actually knows about ninja training is actually probably very limited to who he's been, excuse me, who he's been sealed in. Uh, and whether or not he even remembers, I guess as old as he is, as powerful as he is, as dangerous as he is, and ex whether or not he's a good teacher or not is actually very up to uh, up for interpretation. Like teaching your own abilities to someone is one thing. Teaching abilities that you've seen could be a very different thing. Uh, but regardless, Naruto would quickly, very quickly go up and go up in strength, go up in skill and uh, power. Uh, and every once in a while, every time he activates the Fox's chakra, he, uh, you know, he's alerting like Sarutobi or other individuals who actually are sensors. Like, what the hell am I feeling right now? Is that the Fox? And they go back and they see Naruto's fine. It's like, what's going on here? The Fox is like, we can't practice with these forms for very long. They're going to come sensing uh, gun, ninja sensors are going to come sensing you, thinking you're, I, I'm escaping. And so they're like, don't worry about it. You know, we'll only do it in short bursts. Eventually, you know, the third is keeping the eye on Naruto, and he finally sees Naruto actually practicing with the fox's chakra. He's like, when did he learn to access that ch uh, access the chakra? And he's and despite the fact that Naruto does have the re the uh, slit red eyes, maybe even the enhanced whiskers, he's actually he's noticing he's not losing any. In fact, he's fully in control and. You know, he's using that power pretty um, pretty effectively. He makes a note that I'm going to have to talk to Naruto about this, but we'll wait till after graduation. Speaking of which, how well does Naruto do in school? Um, here's the thing. Kurama might be able to help a little bit with the schoolwork because he's been around so long, he might know some of that history. I don't think he knows all the history. I don't think Naruto's top of the class. Don't think that. But, and besides, Kurama basically is him cheating. Is what it is. They're cheating. Uh, but... And the thing is, uh, the Krama does say, using more of my chakra will help loosen the seal, so we'll be able to use more of our chakra. You, you'll be able to use more of my chakra the more you use my chakra. And that's basically how it worked. The seal started to crack, and uh, then Drya loosened it just slightly, which allowed Lar Naruto to access the four tail cloak form. And that went very poorly. So they're like, no, 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 no. Unfortunately, the seal was, was already starting to loosen up at that point, so that's why, you know, it was easier for him to access the Fox Chakra after a while. Regardless, yeah, Naruto isn't going to be top of the class. But I don't think he's the dead last anymore, uh, honestly. I think he's probably in the lower tier of the midsection. Like, he's... he's Iruka even notices he's, his grades have been starting to improve, which is impressive. Naruto, though, is still a beast in the hand-to-hand -hand combat. Apparently, his grades were about a B, always. So he was always passable, minimum. But now, with thanks to the Fox... And probably the Fox may be helping him, like, with his form as well. Like, Naruto doesn't have a clear fighting style, but he's very spontaneous and very, you know, random. So, he's a bit unpredictable. So, when he, you know, he's, he even straight out beats Kiba now in a straight out fist fight, which he couldn't be for. And when he goes against Sasuke, initially Sasuke holds the edge because he's just more skilled. You know, he blocks his strike. He goes in for a hit, but Naruto just, whoop, comes in, dips back, actually throws a kick up. And Sasuke actually has to avoid it. Naruto hits the Grinch, whoosh, comes in. Sasuke has to dodge, and Naruto comes in with another strike. Actually hits him in the chest, and everyone's like, "Is Nar? How did Naruto? What?" So and Sasuke's like, and it's like, "When did he get that? He's gotten better." And Sasuke actually just like, <laughs> "It's like fun. Finally, someone can actually push me a bit." And now they're starting to go, and Sasuke's now taking him act seriously, actually, because I think that's the thing. Whenever we saw Sasuke and Naruto duke it out very few times we saw it in the uh 
in the academy, particularly in that little flashback they had. Um, I don't think Sasuke was ever actually taking him seriously. <laughs> so yeah, I um, I th I think it's more they're actually now going toe to toe with each other. And occasionally, Naruto is even get pulling out a straight-out win against him, which is causing Sasuke to get pissy, but also get um, very, um, getting very excited. So ultimately, yeah, he's going to he's going to be really excelling in class from here on out. The problem is, even with all the training they're doing, the chakra exercises, I don't think Naruto, at least at this point, can ever pull off a clone jutsu effectively. And Kurama probably doesn't really know how to do a shadow clone jutsu, so I don't see him. Uh, being able to teach Naruto how to do that. Regardless, uh, once the uh, once the test comes and he fails it, Naruto's just bummed and the fox is like, oh, don't feel bad about it. You'll get it the next time. That clone jutsu is, is going to be tough for someone like you with the amount of chakra you have. <laughs> Instead of saying I couldn't do something basic because I'm too awesome, sure, do, let's say that. And then Mizuki comes in and is like, Naruto, uh, uh, didn't, uh, let's... Um, let me tell you, can I talk to you for a little bit? Oh, I didn't pass, huh? Well, I can tell you, there's a secret, there's a secret way for you to pass. Uh, I'm going to let you in on it. And the fox is me like, I don't well, trust this guy, Naruto. I was like, yeah, this, but I got to do this if I'm going to pass. I don't think this is a legit test. Naruto, for to his credit, does trust Kurama, but he's also like, I really want to graduate. So I got, I got to try anything I can. And so he rushes out. Get, steals the scroll ceiling, manages to get the shadow clone jutsu. Iruko shows up, saying, <laughs> and Naruto's like, oh, I only managed to learn one jutsu at, the, at, at that point. And so, uh, and so Iruko's just like, what? How'd you find out? Oh, Ruka, uh, Mizuki sensei t t told me, tell me about this place. And yeah, it's like, Mizuki? And he, uh, Kurama, uh, he attacks Iruka. Mizuki comes, Naruto, give me the scroll. It's like, what? I was like, uh, and it's like, oh, I knew it. And me and Naruto uh, just, it's still a little like, really? It's like, really? We're, th you really were just tricking me? But he's not like completely oblivious here. He kind of also had a suspicion this, that something was up. It's like, so this is what you wanted, right? Mizuki Sensei, you wanted the scroll and you just decided to use me because you couldn't do it yourself. What does that say? <laughs> There's Twitch. The fox says something and Naruto actually. Kind of spoke, like, well, I guess that was that say about your abilities. He's like, oh, you little brat. Just give me the scroll and everything will be fine. It's like, no, I'm, no, don't give him the scroll, Naruto. And it's like, oh, he's trying to trick you. Don't let him lie. He's lying to you. Don't let him trick you, Naruto. Oh, I'll tell you who's lying. Don't. Uh, and Mizuki thinks he's just, uh, you know, spoiling or um, shocking Naruto with the truth. It's like, yes. This fox, and Nine Tails Fox is sealed inside you. You are the Nine Tailed Fox. And Naruto just looks at him and just, hmm. And just, poof, and, and just looks at Iruka too. It's like, no. And he just runs off. Uh, fine. So, oh well. Um, <laughs> and, or, well, let me rephrase that. Naruto doesn't run off. He throws the. Uh, he throws the, uh, the giant Puma Shuriken at him. And before he can react, uh, he's about to do something when Iruka steps in. Just, uh, Iruka is like, Naruto, I'm sorry. Um, uh, 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 I let you do And Naruto, he explains how I hated you, but then I saw you and it reminded me of my own uh, my own family. I lost my family, my grades slipped, and uh, I know it's been hard for you. I'm sorry, Naruto. I shouldn't have, I should have been there for you. And Naruto is now also just shocked about this. He's also seeing his teacher, one of the few people he actually respects deeply hurt and in pain physically and emotionally and Mr. is like don't make me laugh the nine-tailed spark killed iruka's parents that's why he always hated you and it's like, it's like and Narch just looks at him and just is starting to get teary eyes like iruka sensei i'm sorry it's like i'm so am i and Narch just puts down the scroll and just is able to hold on, and he gets the Fuma Shuriken out of there. It's like, really, really, Naruto? Oh, you're going to try to defend your sensei? And it's like, I'm sorry, Ruka Sensei. Uh, just hold on. You want the? And he just looks up at him. He's got it in his hand. And you get that. Doo -doo 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 -doo. I can't do that. The, the actual was like, you want this scroll? Come and get it. And it's like, uh, it's like what? You, I, uh, you honestly think you're telling me something I didn't already know? I've already known about the, the fox for years now. We're actually pretty good. And honestly, I'm, I know what you're saying is bull. I know for a fact I'm not the fox. 
I know that because I got to talk to him pretty much every day. He's actually a pretty cool guy once you get to know him. <laughs> and the Karam's just like, <laughs> you know, you know, I'm awesome. Uh, it's like, what are your plan? What are you playing, kid? I think I'm gonna just, uh, I think I'm gonna scare him just a little bit. It's like, <laughs> you think you talk to the fox? So you are a demon then? Wow, you really don't know anything about seals, do you? <laughs> uh, so, uh, I'll just destroy you myself. Yeah! I'll rid you of I'm in this village of the fox. It'll be done. And he just charges at Naraja. Who saw just like, and he's like, you sure about that? And all of a sudden, <laughs> the tails come out. And he's like, ah! <laughs> and I just suddenly gets like caught. And like, oh, what's wrong, you workers? What's wrong, Yuzuki Sensei? And his voice, he lowers his voice just a little bit, gets a little. Bit, I thought you, I thought you weren't going to get rid of the village of the fox. Well, here it is. Like, ah, ah! <laughs> oh, no, no! And just. What should I do with you? Hmm? Should I crush you? Maybe I'll eat your soul. Uh, so, yeah, and just throws him on the ground. <laughs> and all of a sudden, just <laughs> oh, maybe you should see the look on your face. <laughs> so, what? I'm not gonna eat your soul, idiot. Come on, what do you think I am? Uh, and then Ruka's like, what just happened? I told you, I've known the fox for years now. Where he's a pretty good guy. And, and I don't look at I don't look at it. He's probably the only probably one of the only people I think of as an actual friend. And the fox is actually like, no, well, come on, kid. They, they both, not all your classmates are that bad. Yeah, but you're my first friend, uh, friend, and you're my closest one. And the fox is like, <laughs> eh, well, and I get and say, and I know I'm your friend too, whether you won't say it or not. So shut up. And I like, I, I, uh, you, you guys, besides, I'm not gonna and besides. It'd be, it, while it'd be poetic to defeat you with his power, I think I'm going to beat you with something I just learned. Shadow Blue Jutsu! <laughs> <laughs> now then, who wants to fight? No! Boo! Beats up Mizuki. And Naruto, Naruto's looking at Iruka. And Iruka's still stunned by what he just saw there. And, like, oh, uh, uh, Naruto. <laughs> uh, like, Are you okay, Iruka sensei? Yeah, here. Uh, I, I'm sorry for everything. Uh, don't worry about it. I'm used to it. Here, close your eyes. I got something to give to you. Congratulations. You graduate. <laughs> and so Naruto oh, oh, graduates. Now, I do think the uh, Konohamaru thing goes exactly the same. There's no reason it wouldn't. Minus the maybe getting bashed on the head thing by the storm. But it goes exactly the, it goes exactly the same. The thing that would change immediately, though, is that after the fact, an Ambu would show, like after the Iruka I I thing, an Ambu would probably show up after getting Yuruka to the hospital. It's like, Naruto Uzumaki, the Lord Okagi, would like to have a word with you. Uh, the old man wants to see me? I, okay. Uh, hey, GD, what's up? He's like, Naruto, come, come. Uh, uh, look, I'm sorry about the school. I'm aware, but you were misled. It's not a big concern. No, what I'm more interested in is your, is your relationship with your tenant. It's, it, I've been keeping an eye on you for a while. It's become very evident you're aware of the fox's presence. And have been able to use its ability, exercise some of its chakra. Oh, yeah, me and, uh, me and Karama are really good terms. Karama? Oh, yeah, that's the fox's name. Hey, that's personal presence. Oh, sorry. I'm not supposed to really share that with other people. <laughs> uh, it's like, it, you, you seem to be on a good, work, good relationship with it. Oh, yeah, no, I mean, it was a little rough, t a little tough and touch and go for a while, but he's actually a pretty good guy once you get to know him. Uh, honestly, tell me, how much of the fox's chakra can you t uh, tap into? To which, this is where actually Karama actually explains things to Naruto. It's like, well, with the seal in place, we're not really able to access all of it. But he says the more I use his chakra, the more it kind of loosens the seal. So eventually we'll be able to work together uh, with all of his power. But for right now, I can use at least not, uh, I'll use eight tails of the first form of his chakra. First form. And he explains how apparently there's a version one and a version two. And then there's even the full of the capabilities of his chakra. So, it's interesting. The re there's a reason you won't be aren't able to loosen the seal, Naruto. The seal has a key that keeps it uh, locked in place. E and what the although the fox says is true, the seal will loosen with more usage of its chakra. It will still take a good a very long time for it to completely undo itself. However, I do know the man who holds the key to your seal. Y you do? It's like wow. Uh, I was. He should be coming back back to the village in the several months, so I will be keeping an eye out, uh, keeping a word out for him. When he's here, when I when I know he's here, I'll sub, I'll, I'll bring him to, I'll bring you to him, and we'll have a discussion about what to do with the seal. He's like, cool, thanks. I mean, even if he can't unlock it, at least it's something, right? Awesome. It's like just 
Naruto, I hope you're not planning to just use the Fox's chakra co uh, completely, uh, d uh, openly and freely. To which Naruto actually does kind of look at the old man and goes, "No, I'm me and me and the Karama talked about it. Uh, uh, I'm only using it uh, if I have to outside the village. At least the, ex the uh, at least the max amount of it." Uh, because, I mean, I don't want to need to scare other people. You know, people are already hating or afraid of me anyway, so I don't need to make it any worse. And I was like, mm, that's probably for the best. Now then, get going. And then, it seems Minato made the right call after all. And so, now, by the way, speaking of Minato, the Fox does on some level know who Minato's parents are. In fact, he should at least minimum know who, Kashina, uh, who his mom is because he was sealed in her. But because he was so blinded by rage and under control of uh, Obito at that point, I'm not sure if he maybe fully remembers uh, that they're, uh, they're his parents or not. Still, regardless, Naruto would go... And Naruto's still wearing the same crap, by the way. Naruto would go, he's real, they passed his exams. I don't really think much uh, changes, except for the fact that, you should note, I think Naruto and Hinata are friends in the academy. He's not still very shy, but Naruto actually remembers saving her, and the fox reminds her, hey, isn't that the little girl that you saved? It's like, oh, hi, Hinata. And so I think they're solid friends. Not like the best of best of friends, but maybe because she's very still very shy, even though him talking to her constantly probably does help with her confidence. Um, I think instead of sitting next to uh, Sasuke, which he did, I think he actually goes to sit up to Hinata, who's probably his only real friend in class. Uh, and she blushes him sitting there. Because she's definitely got the crush right now. She's definitely got it. Uh, and, she's, and he smiles at her. And she's like, <laughs> man, smiling back. He and Sakura comes in. And to Naruto and the Fox's credit, I think the Fox is steering him away from Sakura. Because I have a feeling he finds her very annoying, like a lot of people did. Like the, like the stupid fangirl stuff, everyone kind of found annoying. And I don't think the Fox would be <laughs> any different from that. Uh, so, uh, and Naruto is probably like, oh, hey, it's Sakura. Instead of being like, Sakura, it's, oh, hey, it's Sakura. It's like, yep. And they're still doing their stuff. It's like, yeah, what have they seen that guy anyway? It's like, yeah, what, believe me, brat, they cheer are many things. And I'm apparently lady magnets is what, attracting the opposite sex is one of them. Uh, it's, I, I don't know what it is. Believe me, I'll never understand it myself. And so the, uh, Teams get selected. Now, could Naruto be on a different team here? In theory, yes, but not likely. Uh, the reason for that is more or less coming down to, I don't think, even with a slightly better grade, like when it comes to his test, I don't think he's, they didn't really do a lot towards grading because obviously Shikamaru's was ar tests were arguably as bad, if not worse, but they still put him with the Ini Shikacho trio because that's what that was designed for. The only argument you honestly could have made was maybe put Nar swap like Naruto and Kiba with each other. Those are the only two that actually can make sense to be swapped in the original nine. But uh, I think Naruto still ends up on the same team as Sasuke. It's like, ah, it's like, makes sense. Uh, it's like, it looks like they're aiming for a tracking team which, that, that would, uh, Hinata's team. And the other, the Inishika Cho Trio, has been a staple of Kona for years. So it only makes sense you'd be winding up on a different team. It's like, oh, well, I guess we're not going to be on the same team, uh, huh, Hinata? Oh, well, we'll still see each other, right? Uh, right. <laughs> and he just bumped fist bumps. Like, mm. <laughs> and she does a light one. It's like, mm. uh, so, yeah. Naruto still does the prank on Kakashi. And when they, and then they go up and... Naruto probably is a little different with what he says to Kakashi. He's like, I'm very, I like my friends. Or say, uh, my hobbies include training, working on my chakra control. And that's his subtle way of talking about Kurama. And the third, and Kakashi has been made aware by the third that Naruto is fully aware of the Fox and can use its chakra quite a bit. So Naruto is by and large the strongest one that, that team saved for Kakashi himself. And we're talking part one Kakashi, so that's even debatable. In terms of chakra, oh yeah, Naruto's got him completely beat. Even before the fox chakra, he, Kakashi even said, oh yeah, you've got more chakra than I do. Uh, but even with the Sharingan, against a eight-tail V1 cloak Naruto, Kakashi's Sharingan and experience would be the only things that could save his ass in that. The fact that he has a lot of jutsu under his belt too helps, but he just doesn't have the stamina, I think. 
still, the lack of experience probably does help in Kakashi's favor there. Uh, but he talks about his chakra and hanging out and spending time with his friends. And Shikamaru, uh, Shikama, Sakura probably does point as like, friends? I mean, Hinata is a friend, but I mean, I don't think he's got any other friends. What is he talking about? Meanwhile, the Sasuke and Sakura go through their whole shtick. The thing I hate is Naruto! It's like, wow, that was, what, what did I do to deserve that? It's like, well, you did kind of annoy her a little bit for dates for a while. It's like, hey there okay like naruto despite being like okay did i that was really mean he also acknowledges okay point taken <laughs> and so we're gonna end real quick on the belt test i got four a little under five minutes here um i can do the belt test in under five naruto again would be the one to attack kakashi but he's also first off he's far more skilled here than he is in the original he can make multiple clones. He's got the chakra, and he's got a chakra boost from Kurama. He can even lightly use Kurama's chakra, just, you know, the minor enhancement, you know, the, the demonizer there, all that. So Kakashi's already on the back foot, and he isn't actually considering using his Sharingan before he uses a couple jutsu, uh, you know, maybe using some raw, a fire, a fire jutsu to wipe out a bunch of the clones. The real Naruto, though, has been actually going to find Sakura and Sasuke. The reason for this is Kurama probably cues him into the fact that this belt test doesn't make any sense. I, I mean, to be fair, you, you were the one thing. Who oh, I sorry, it doesn't make any sense because you're a team. There's only two belts. You're supposed to work as a team. And the fox is really, oh, that son of. A, he said, I'm just trying to get you to work together to get the two belts. It's a teamwork exercise. You just got to work as a team. All right, cool. I'll go get and find Sakura and Sasuke. Well, when he finds them, he's like, what are you doing here? Get lost, loser. It's like, look, I've made, I've made a bunch of clones. They'll distract him for a while. But we, the whole idea is we're, there's no two-man teams. we got to work together. It's like, oh, please. It's like, and, Sas and Sakura has met up with them, too, because Sa Naruto found her clone, or found where she was hiding. And, and it's like, no, please, Naruto, that doesn't make any sense. No, nah, he's got a point, though. There aren't any two-man teams, uh, which means the only... Uh, only uh, thing this could be about is teamwork. Of course, Sasuke, that's brilliant. And they're both in there. It's like, we just said that. <laughs> it's like, my God. Anyway, so they they quickly come out. Naruto makes a bunch more clones. Sasuke and uh, Sakura are coming in full throttle. They're trying to work as a team. I imagine they could even get one of the bells. But as the bell rings... As the uh, alarm rings, they're down to their last, uh, they're down to the last bells. Like, well, you actually managed to get one of the rings, uh, bells. I'm impressed. Uh, but I guess the question is, which one of you was going to be, uh, but only one of you was able to get the bell. So which of the remaining two was it? It will be uh, tied to the, uh, tied to the pole, post. And let's assume it's Naruto. So uh, it's like, well, does that really matter, Kakashi said thing? Hmm? Wasn't the whole idea that we were supposed to work as a team? Um... Well, oh, so you caught on. That's true. You were, and you did. But that's not quite it either. No, it's, uh, it's quite either. And since uh, since you were so smart to point it out, Naruto, you get to be tied to the bowl. What? <laughs> uh, you uh, you will not be eating, So you will not have any lunch. Oh, come on. It's like, mm. oh, Marie starts, his stomach starts to go, oh, this is so dumb. And then Sasuke offers his food. They offer the food. Kakashi's like, you broke the rules. Uh, I hope you're ready for the consequences. Uh, and, and to which Kakashi, Naruto's like, what's what your deal? We worked as a team. And if we, and, and, uh, you know, they explain how why they gave the food. <laughs> you pass, you pass. Like, Seriously? Oh, thank God. Like, you already got it, but I just wanted to make a uh, test to resolve. You see, in the ninja world, those who break the rules are scum. That is true, but those who abandon their friends are worse than scum. Uh, we'll have our first mission in the morning. Oh, awesome. Time to go. Let's go home. You. And, then, <laughs> and the fox does kind of laugh at it. It's like, oh, come on, help me out here. All right, fine. Then he busts out with some chakras. It's like, oh, you sons of bitches. And so that's where we're ending part one. The bell test is complete. Naruto's got a nice early grasp of the fox's chakra. When Jiraiya shows up, we'll be looking more into unlocking more of that potential. But for now, that's where we're going to end. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, share, subscribe. And I'll see you guys for the next one later. And tomorrow is the beginning of the week of Who Would Win. So stay tuned for that.